I'm Lucan. And this is the Dawn Fear Podcast. Uh, today we have Oofplux with us here. And go ahead and introduce Hi. yourself. Uh, I'm Oofplux. I play TVGT. And uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Um, so, Oofplux, I think maybe this is the first time I've ever spoken to you in a VC. Um. <laughs> How are you doing so far? What what is your two B two T experience been like? Um, I've been playing for I I'd like to say a pretty long while. I it's been pretty fun. Uh, I've met a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of people who I'd consider like who I'd want to like meet up with in your life. You know, it's been very fun. Okay, when did you start playing the server? Um, I started playing in September of twenty twenty. So it's been like almost two years. It's getting close to two years. Okay, okay. And Luke, you can jump in here at any point um, if you right. thought of something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, you got some? No, go ahead. Okay. So, Oofplux, you know, we've spoken a bit, and um, it's mainly about your recent uh, project, you know, Project Vacuum. What made you start getting into, you know, spawn projects? Um, It's all about the clout, man. It's all about the clout. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like, unironically. I mean, like, at least you're honest fun. about it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, to be fair, there, like, I was, I was joking a little bit, but a little part of it is the clout, you know. Hey, the mm-hmm. clout, clout makes a server go round, if you get what I mean. But um, a lot of it is just hanging out, meeting you people. A lot of the friends I've made on 2B is, like, I've met them, like, during projects. Like, for example, Dawnfall, I'd say, is one of my, like, closest friends on the server. And, um, that like, we met during one of my earlier spawn projects with the uh, Lost Nomads, which some people might remember that name. Sorry, okay. the, the Lost Nomads? Yeah, that is um, Silver Eyes' group. I mean, it's pretty oh, much dead now. Okay, but... can you... Okay, pretend I don't know anything about 2B2T from it. What is what is all that stuff? What, who's Dawn Fall and all that? Okay, so basically... Um, I'll, I'll just like go through the entire story because it's like pretty long. So when I joined 2B, um, I met this guy um, in the old IIS Discord before it disbanded named Omni underscore omni and um he invited me over to this discord called the lost nomads this group called the lost nomads at the time they wanted to drain the ii water cube uh with like sponges and shit they had this design going and everything and they had even gotten like permission from baki that ii wouldn't fuck with them or am i allowed to swear i'm allowed to swear right uh yeah i would i would say don't do it excessively but yes yeah, um, so th- that was that. And so I was pretty involved with the group at the beginning, like at building at their bases. And soon enough, you know, Silver Eyes, which is the co- they had four leaders. He was like basically the main one. Um, soon enough, he wanted like to level up the group's game. So he decided to make a spawn event called the Lost Nomad Games. And so during this time, I kind of became like, I, I dedicated like my entire like life to this group. I was, like, sleeping at, like, 6 a.m. every day building at this one event place. And so I bonded with Silver Eyes a lot, but at the same time, another one of the leaders, um, his name was Tim the Enchanter, he didn't like me very much. So I told Silver Eyes um, that I was going to leave the group once the games was done because I didn't really like the way that the group was, like, made, especially with, like, um, like the group dynamics, how Tim would just, like, insult me all the time and blah, 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 you know, old shit. And so basically, yeah, that happened. Nomad Games happened. Dawnfall was one of the co-builders. And then I get kicked from the Nomads because I had said I was going to leave earlier. And so then and then Dawnfall invites me into his group T-Gang, which at the time was basically just for like spamming T and chat. Um, I get invited to a base, uh, yada, yada, yada. I find a big carpet stash at Block Game Mecca. Me and Dawnfall move it together. He gets this idea of making a big map art, like the biggest at the time on TVTC. Uh, we make it together o- over eight months, and yeah, that's basically how I became pretty close friends with them. Was that the Mapopoly thing? Yes, that is Mapopoly. Okay, the map art you ended up making. Yeah. yeah. I remember uh, hearing about that, but I hadn't heard the full story. So that's good. That's good. You you are a pretty well-known player. Most people have probably heard of you if they're paying attention to like the fit 
the Fit MC show and stuff. What yeah. would you say, and this isn't me saying this, but what would you say to people that who who say you're a clout chaser? Um I mean, for the most part, at this point, I've kind of, like, ironically embraced the role. Like, I LARP about it a lot and stuff. But um, I'd say I like to, like, define a clout chaser as somebody who exclusively starts things, like, starts projects and bases, like, for clout. For example, Dima is a very good example of this. Like, he doesn't start bait. He doesn't start projects for to, like, you know, make new friends or have fun. He's like, oh, yeah, let's let's do this to... Um, you know, gain more attention to the community, blah, blah, blah. I like to start things because, like, uh, I don't know what the... I like to start things because I want to make new friends, and then the clout, you know, it comes later on. Yeah, I think that's a good way of seeing things. I mean, I my argument about it has always been that as long as you're... Yeah, I mean, it's it's essentially boils down to recognition, and that's yeah. something everyone really wants. So... Exactly. There's a good way to go about trying to get recognition. There's an honorable way to go about it. And I think that's okay. But yeah. there are people who stray into a territory where they're being manipulative or they're lying or and it's yeah, a da- it's yeah. a danger, you know. Like there's a there's a good side and there's a there's a bad side, a dangerous side. And I think to be a clout chaser, you have to be somebody that's uh yeah. Go, going about it the wrong way. The wrong wait, the wrong way? Yeah, like if you're if you're somebody who's um manipulating people. Yeah. Oh or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Or, or um, you know. Yeah, I think the the line is very thin. Like and also you're kinda it once once you kinda like become a cloud chaser, it's very hard to like um to shake that off of your like reputation, which yeah. is why like when people started calling me a cloud chaser, like there really was no point to try and say like oh like try and defend myself, you know. So it's better to just embrace the role. That was my opinion at least at the time. So I've kind of like you know embraced it. Let's take it an answer, yeah. And I think a lot of what like makes reputations on this community as well is like like people remembering you, right? Like people. There's always that, like, average Joe who's chasing clout every other day. But if people, like, remember... For example, Red Star, he was, like, before me, I guess, he was, like, known as one of the biggest clout chasers, and that's kind of what, like, people remember him as. So, like, that in that same way, I, f- I felt like embracing the role of being a clout chaser actually leads to more clout, like, in a way, if you get what I'm saying. I can see that, honestly. Yeah. that That was my thought process, kind of. Okay. Okay. I have a I have another question. So, um, you've been in two fit videos, right? Or is it more? Uh, three. 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 Okay. So, um, could you walk me through the first time you contacted Fit? Like, how did that go for you? Oh, the first time was like uh February twenty twenty one, and that that was when I had griefed the OO, and uh, it was on my term account, so I can't like look it up. But it was nice. something. It was something along the lines of. Hey fit me and my bud griefed the OO um, with the withers. You said it was ungriefable. L. That was it was something along those lines. And he Did just you get a response. No, of course not. Wow. Fit being fit, he's not gonna respond to something that something like that. So what was the first response that you got from him? Um, it was so. <laughs> it's actually a pretty funny story. So during lunch at school. It's, it's this is gonna sound like really cringe, but basically my friends they know I play TV and stuff. And so one of my friends, who's like kind of like, he watches like all the fit videos and blah blah. blah. He was like, "Oh, Ufux, have you or Alex? That's my name. Alex, have you ever um, contacted Fit?" And I was like, "No, but I, you know, it would be cool if I did." And then he knew that I was making Mapopoly at the time, so I so he told me to DM Fit, and I was like, I, I was really nice and stuff, you know. I, I guess a lot of people know that I'm not very like mature or I don't act mature here. But I was very mature in my DM. I was like, hey, Fit, this is the map we're making. Uh, very big, yada, yada, yada. Would you be down to make a video? And he was like, yeah, sure. And then just kind of went from there. Oh, that's totally going to be in the thumbnail. At lunch, I got a DM from Fit MC. Sure, sure <laughs> go with it. Yeah, that's the quote we'll put in the, we'll put in the thumbnail. That's funny. So, 
So you have IRL friends that know that you're like a 2B2T player? Yeah. How does that work? 100%. Well, it's just because, um, like, I used to advertise my YouTube at school being the cringy little, like, sixth grader I was. This was like, what, like, Wait, I can't, like four I can't years. imagine doing that. This is this is like four years ago. So okay. I advertise. So they all know my like YouTube is Uflux and stuff. Okay. And so then they can, you know they just keep up with my videos. Oh, you had that name before you joined Two B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I I had this name. It's on Xbox too. It's for such a long time. Was, oh, I yeah. can't. But I just can't imagine having IRL friends that like know you're a Two B Two T player like like i joined i didn't join tv until after i had graduated high school so i guess i never had that experience but i can't yeah. i can't possibly imagine having like people walk up to me irl and ask about tv tt like i mean it, i mean it's not like what people like know me for it's more like you know they're like online on discord they'll just be like yo alex um what have you been doing on TV and like stuff like that? Because when I joined TV, we were all like, everybody was playing Minecraft. Like, it was basically like our school's high pixel phase, I guess. Your entire yeah. school? Well, really? not not entire like, school, but like the majority. I mean, like a like a little niche of your school was playing. I guess, yeah. There was like my my entire friend group was playing and stuff. So really. Yeah, and we had like this is like September twenty twenty. We all we had like a Minecraft realm that we'd play on and stuff. So me hopping on TV, like people knew about it because I would like talk about it a bit too. Like I would send pictures, like I don't know, like cringy new fags shit. I would send pictures like, oh my god, swastika on this old server with the impact HUD and everything in the picture. It was pretty funny. Interesting. So what did your friends react? In real life, the first time you got into a fit video. Oh yeah, here I can actually send a screenshot. Um, well, what, what was the what was the first fit video you were in? Was it the carpet thing? Was it? The um, Mabob it thing? was. It was. Uh, I think it's the two BTTs Obsidian Wars getting ridiculous. I think that's what the name is. Oh, okay. Wait, I know it's, that one, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, two BTTs Obsidian Wars getting ridiculous. One point eight million views. So. It was basically uh, the story, because I was involved, after I griefed the Owo, um, me and Maxi Taxi, this was back when we were still, like, cool and stuff. Was, wait, we, was uh, this before, was this before or after, was this before, before or after, after the Mapopoly thing? Oh, this is, like, much before, much before. Okay. So the, so the Mapopoly video was, like... Okay, so you weren't, like, the star of this video, you were just no, in it, like, in the background. Yeah, it was just... Yeah, it was just in it. Okay. Like, a lot of the footage is mine. Um, I mentioned on screen, like, a couple of times. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's not, like, a major mention like the other two. But I, I still like to consider it. You know. Yeah, I think that counts if you're in a video. Just in the background, that still counts. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I played a pretty big part with that, like, entire Air Destroyers but, thing. But I want to ask about, like... The, w so did Fit make the video about the Mapopoly thing? And I just, I just forgot that, or... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he did. He did. He did. Okay. Well, how did your friends react when that video came out? Um, it was just like a bunch of no way. They they just started <laughs> DMing me. They were like, "Oh my god, is that Uflex?" Oh, oh I meant god. in real life. Like, did people oh, in high no, school no, no. like give you high fives in the hallway? <laughs> no, 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 no. I I don't think the majority of my school knew about it. I'm okay. just I'm just when I when I say like people in, in your life knew, I, I'm talking about maybe like mostly just my friend group. Just like a handful of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's so interesting. I, I think that's I think that's just fascinating. Yeah. Honestly, actually really? like Yeah. I I've avoided that's... telling people that I'm a two B two D player. <laughs> I've I don't like I've met people in real life who to say they play Minecraft and I'm like, Oh really? What uh you know, like what you say they say they play Minecraft Anarchy and they say they play T V and I'm like Oh, really? And I'll, like, ask them questions to see if they actually know what they're talking about. And 90% of the time, they're, like, someone who's joined once. Yeah. There's, like, actually a couple of my in real life friends who have, like, joined to be, And actually, like, one of them is playing Impact right now. Okay. Status, hmm. playing Impact. He's, like, he's actually in Dawn Fear, which is funny. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's, he's uh, in Spawner. <laughs> 
Can you tell us who it is, or does that dox him? Uh, no, it doesn't dox him. It, he's, uh, if you look at his Discord, uh, wait, I'll send you guys. It's White Cracker hashtag 6969. Oh. He's in Spawn Rangers. Do I have to he, edit that out? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. Is that a racial slur? <laughs> It's just oh. white cracker. I should have said don't say any racial slurs when you asked about cussing. Okay. I'll, I'll cut this part out. But yeah, he, he... I forgot to mention that earlier, but yeah, he's in dog food, so... Very cool. Very I cool. actually didn't know that. That's actually Let me really go cool. look and see if he's... He is. If he, he does is. anything. I just him. <laughs> he, he had course to a couple of, uh, like, ranger bases. What's his name? He, why it's just... It, it's Havenly. It's white, Havenly. Yeah, it's Havenly. That's his Minecraft IG. The frick? Havenly, like Here, Haven. I'll, tag, I'll go to general chat and I'll tag one of his messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? There we are. How did you get people for Project Vacuum that were willing to do a lot of this manual labor? Because to me, that would seem like a pretty hard thing to do. Um, well, number one, okay, you gotta get, like, the, the slaves, okay? I have, like, a slave catalog in Operation Vacuum. So, number one, like, my number one slave, okay, Dino TBT, basically, like, all the impressionable, like, new players, right? Or the highway workers, that's where you get the slaves. So, no offense to my slaves, but, like, for example, Baka833, great slave, highway, <laughs> highway worker, right? Make, like, yeah. Paper Robber, Paper Robber 9000. Oh my amazing. god. Okay. Okay, what's, hey. what's a better You're quote, making yourself but... sound so bad right now. I, I mean... You're just like, I mean, you're just like, well, I have slaves. Like, okay. I mean, they they know that they're not actually slaves. They're, they're pretty chill. But, like, an actual answer would probably just be, yeah. Like, highway workers, they're, like, great. Um... And it's basically, like, people I'm sure with, like, a lot of the people in Eclipse were, like, in Operation Vacuum, and just, like, people who I know are active, nowadays they're a lot harder to find, because I feel like, um, a lot of the people who have been playing a while don't really interact with the new players, and that's kind of where all, like, the dedicated workers are, so you kind of have to grab into that community a little bit to get some of the dedicated people. Hmm. Okay. Which, also, on a side note, I feel like Donfrey does a great job at, at, because they're kind of, like, a established group while at the same time they kind of like meddle in the pool of new players trying to see who the best builders are you know well yeah, i appreciate honestly. that we try to you know we we try to be a group that has it is somewhat accepting towards new players but also we have like a depth of the the ranks so to speak like yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll let in a, a decent number of new players we try to give lots of people a chance but you know not not very many of them actually filter up into the mm -hmm. the core group of our our top builders yeah um so what groups are you involved with that's a good question are you involved with any groups right now uh yeah so there's obviously eclipse operation vacuum then there's T Gang. And well, are those like, are those groups or are those projects? Because I thought those were projects. The so Operation Vacuum is like a project, but we're working on repurposing. I mean, it's a project, but it's basically like a group in its own right. If you get what I'm saying, like I can easily repurpose it for some other like project or some other base or something. And I bet people would from there would still like participate. So yeah. I guess originally it started off as a project Discord, but it could easily double as a group. But I'd say the, quote, official groups are just Eclipse and T-Game. That's basically where I spend my time. Okay. But yeah, not, not many other groups that I've been in and groups that I, I would be led in in the first place. But I was in, quote, in, I guess. I was subcontractor, but I was in 5C for a little bit, for like six months or something. And then Bezo had a hissy fit and he threw me out. So that was, I had some time there. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, I was in HWU for like almost a year, I think. I don't know. I've I've been. Oh, I'm in Astral, I guess. I have meteorite role in Astral. I don't know if that counts. But... Yeah, that counts. Yeah, that's like their mid rank, I think. Yeah, I thought that was their 
Oh, yeah, there it, that is. I thought I was confusing that with Shooting Star. So, yeah, those are basically all my Well, that's cool. Well, that's cool. Do you have any final thoughts, Oofplux? All right, we're going to wrap this up. Um, or do you want to plug your sure. um, your YouTube or something? Yeah, I mean, it's literally just Oofplux on YouTube. Um, I don't know. This podcast has been good. There's a couple of things I like to say. Number one, I don't like to be shitty. It's very, it's very, oh, wait, sorry, I should be afraid of that. If you are watching this as someone who has never joined TBTT, don't join. It's incredibly bad for your mental health. <laughs> um, there are lots of better things you can do with your life. The only reason people who are, like, established still play the server are because it gives you good, like, it, it gives you dopamine, and it lets you stay inside and make friends without, like... It lets you make friends with having to go outside. So yeah, don't join. It'll it'll screw you. Well, on that note, thank you for being in the Dawn Fear podcast, Oofplux. I think this was a great episode. Thanks for watching, everybody.